Hello guys, good evening. Hello Flor, hello Aida, hello Melda, good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening. Good evening. I am okay, teacher. And you? I'm very good. Thanks for asking me. And what about you, Flor? How are you tonight? Your microphone, your microphone, Flor. We are low of work and too much traffic to go home. Oh, yes, the traffic was terrible, right? I am just coming home tonight too, right? I really understand you, Flor. And so the traffic is so heavy tonight. I don't know what is happening, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Is it hot in the party where you are? Is it hot there? What? Is it hot there? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, this is our, uh, let's see, this is our class before the last one. Okay, this is nuestra penultima clase el día de hoy. So how do you feel about this? Sí, We, yes. We are almost done, right? We are almost done. So tomorrow is our last class. And um, let me ask, yeah? Good night, teacher. I have a question about the next course because I saw a, a newspaper notice about INSAFOR, but it's not a, a fed in less corporativa, right? Um, I don't have any information about that until this moment, uh, but you are going to receive a message right to WhatsApp in okay. which the English Corporativo is going to inform, right? So I don't have any information until um, this moment to, to that situation, but I hope that the English Corporativo is going to continue uh, giving these English courses. So don't worry about that. And okay. about the next course, haven't you received a message? Yes. 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 Have, have you this. have you received a message? And you have to send your yes. information again, right? Yes. To, to register to another to the other course. And that is pretty okay. nice. Thank okay. you for your question, Nana. Um we are expecting, right, about that topic too, right? And so let's start with tonight's class. Uh, what did we study yesterday? What was yesterday's topic? Do you remember? Uh, present, present continue, and, pres and past simple. Okay, yes, you're right. We studied the present perfect uh, versus the past simple, right? And we say that when we have a specific um, a specific time, we use simple past. When we don't know the time, then we use the present perfect. If it is a repetitive option in the past, then how utilizamos el presente perfecto. We use the present perfect, right? And the simple past, when the option has finished, it has complete finish, está terminada esta acción, then it is simple past. And tonight we are going to study another two words that we usually use with the present perfect and they are for and since. What is the meaning of for? Oh, how long have you been studying English? ¿Cuánto tiempo llevan estudiando inglés? I think, I think for is about the uh, specific time mm. or, or no. Or well, in definition time. <laughs> is seen is seen, seen is for um when we know a specific time. Yes, you are half right. Seen, yes, right. When we need to talk about a specific time, we use the thing when an when an event is started in the past. So let's see, for example, I have been living in the same neighborhood since 2001. Okay, entonces en el 2001 comencé a vivir en esa colonia y todavía vivo ahí, ¿verdad? En ese vecindario. Entonces en ese momento comenzó, ¿verdad? El evento. I have been, 
or I have been uh, live here since, since. O un punto específico en el pasado. Now for, you can say, I have lived in this neighborhood for 14 years. Then that is a period of time. And you are still living there, right? Todavía está viviendo ahí. So that's the difference. Thing and a specific point when an event started in the past. And for is used to show a period of time. Un periodo de tiempo. So that is the difference between since and for. Now we are going to learn how to use them in sentences. But before doing that, we are going to practice um, already in depth to tonight. So let's start. Let me share with you the presentation. And this is the topic for this class. I'm sharing my screen with you. Can you see the presentation? Are you able to see the presentation? Yes, you sure. Yes, I am. Oh, thank you so much. So present perfect with four and single. That is the topic for tonight. And this is the class 15. One more and we are done, right? I hope that you have already finished the section number five and you are um, taking right the final exam. If you have done yet, Don't worry, you still have tomorrow, right? Uh, before the last class, you must finish all the exercise there in the platform. But let's go with this lesson now, Jutir. In this session, you will learn the use of present perfect using for and also since. For is used for a period of time, and since is used to mention a specific uh, point in the past when an event started. So let's practice in this. Uh, Say what you have already done today and what you haven't done using the present perfect. Uh, say what you have already done today and what you have not yet. ¿Todavía tienen algunas cosas pendientes después de la clase? Yes. Can you mention, yes. can you mention some of them? Algo que no he hecho todavía. Um, in this case, I use the present perfect in negative. I haven't. Let's see. Let's see, for example, I haven't fed the pet yet. No he alimentado a la mascota todavía. I haven't. I haven't taken my final exam yet. Todavía no he terminado mi examen final. So I haven't done my homework yet. So let's let's help you with this. What about listen to music? Have you already listened to music today? ¿Ya escuchó sus canciones favoritas el día de hoy? And then you have an affirmative sentence, affirmative sentence using present perfect. Plus already, plus the action to listen to music. ¿Cómo sería esa oración? Yo ya he escuchado música hoy. Any volunteer who wants to tell me? Uh, let me help you with this one, right? This is the first one. So I have already listened to music. That is the same thing. I have already listened to music. Ya escuché música. I have already listened to music. Let's see the second one. Go swimming. That is a negative sentence and I have the word yet there. So you say I haven't. The past participle go is gone. I haven't gone swimming yet. I haven't gone swimming yet. And let's see the next one. To take some photos. What is the past participle of take? What is the past participle of the verb take? Maria Magdalena, what is the past participle of take? I think it's took. Uh, took? Um, almost, almost. Uh, took is the simple Taken, taken. 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 Yes, excellent. Taken is the past participle. Then I have to say in the sentence, 
I have already mm. taken some photos. Ya me he tomado algunas fotos el día de hoy. Hasta ya las puse en Instagram. Ya las publiqué en Facebook. So I have already taken some photos. And let's see the next one. Uh, made my bed. Si hicieron su cama en la mañana. O todavía la van a hacer cuando vayan a acostarse el día de hoy. So you say, yes. I, have, I have already made my bed. O I haven't made my bed yet. En caso de que no la haya hecho. Then let's see the next one. Go out with friends. ¿Salió ya con sus amigos esta semana? Or not yet. You are waiting for Friday. Están esperando para el viernes. And you say, I have already gone out with my friends. Ya salí con mis amigos this week. O oh, I haven't gone out with my friends yet. Todavía no. And the last one is, um, I haven't washed my uniform yet. I haven't washed my uniform yet. ¿Ya lavaron su uniforme para mañana? Oh, you don't wear uniform. No, not really. Lucky you. No, lucky I don't you. You don't have to wear your uniform. That is great. So then, um, in your case, tell me. Oraciones en su caso, verdadero. Tell me your information. This is the first one. Listen to music. Have you already listened to music or not yet? Tell me the sentence. Any volunteer who wants to start, let's practice present perfect using already and yet. And I'm going to pick somebody then. It's no volunteer. Uh, let me see. Ana Gabriela, can you tell me what the first one? Have you already listened to music today? Then you say, I have already listened to music. En el caso que ya escuchó, but I have already listened to music. En el caso de que no haya escuchado música el día de hoy, porque no hubo tiempo, it was so busy. So, I haven't listened to music yet. In the next one, go swimming. Do you say, I have already gone swimming, or I haven't gone swimming yet? <laughs> so, let's see yours. Uh, here is the first one. I have gone swimming yet. I haven't. Okay, I, I, yes, I haven't gone swimming yet. Very good. And I have here the example. Now tell me your case in the first one. Um, Maria Magdalena, can you tell me? Have you, list, have you already listened to music this day? Yes, I have already listened to music when, when I was... Uh... No, early, very early, when I was gone to my job. Mm, okay, yes. That is excellent, excellent sentence. So you say, I have already listened to music. The next one, say some photos. Say some photos. ¿Quién ya se tomó fotos el día de hoy? Have you already taken some photos this day? Kevin, have you already taken some photos today? No, I haven't yet, teacher. Ah, okay, excellent. So you say, no, I haven't taken photos yet. Oh, Están a tiempo okay. con la luna. And let's see the next one. Already made my bed. Veamos, Aida Marisol. Have you already made your bed? Yes, I haven't ready. I made. have ready. Made? Make, make my, my bed. bed. Okay, bed. excellent. I have already made my bed. Okay, nice. In what uniform you say that you don't use uniform? So let's see my ideas here. I haven't gone swimming yet. I have already took some pictures. I have already uh, made my bed. I have already gone out with friends and I haven't washed my uniform yet. There is a sentence here in which I have a mistake. What is it? 
Look at this sentence and tell me what's wrong with one of these sentences. Okay, take um, a minute to read the sentences and tell me what is wrong with this. I the have past participle to take is taken. Oh yeah, you're right. I have already taken some pictures. That is the right way to write the past participle of this verb in this sentence. Thank you so much. Taken is. Let's continue practicing this. Say complete sentences using have or having plus past participle. Look at the following. This is number one. Um, a roller coaster. I on a roller coaster. Now you have to tell me. Tell me the sentences. Number one is this one. Uh, usted me tiene que decir si ha hecho esta actividad o no la ha hecho. Yes, I have gone on roller coaster. Excellent sentence. Yes, you say, I, I have gone on a roller coaster. Nice. Ya se ha subido a un roller coaster. How was your experience? Did you enjoy it? Mm, yes. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Weren't you afraid? Weren't you afraid of roller coaster? Mm. Was it a big one or a small one? Mm, it's medium. Oh, medium size. That is great. So, any volunteer, let me see. Uh, let me see somebody here. And I'm going to pick Abel. Hello, Abel. Good night. Welcome to the class. Can you tell me? Hello. Come on, tell I, me. I have or I haven't gone on a roller coaster. I haven't gone on a roller coaster. Oh, really? Why not? Aida say it is pretty cool to be there. Uh, I haven't gone on the bus. Mm, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you, Abel. So what is the meaning of roller coaster? Thank you. Yes. What is roller coaster? What's the meaning of this? No. Es como la montaña rusa, ¿no? ¿O no? O como la... Sí, como yes. el juego mecánico, montaña rusa, ¿verdad? La no, montaña cosa. rusa, esa es la montaña rusa. So, that is roller coaster. And the second one, seen in a karaoke bar. Have or haven't. Ana Gabriela, Ana Gabriela, tell me. Can you say this? And I have done in a karaoke bar. But I haven't. I have, oh, I have this for today, or? No, 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 ah, no okay. problem with the time. Ah, okay. I have already gone in a karaoke bar. Excellent sentence, thank you. Let's move to the other one. Is sleep under the stars. Ya tuvieron esta experiencia, so have or haven't left under the star. Let's see, Maria Magdalena. I have or I haven't slept under the stars. I haven't slept under the stars. Okay, and let's see, Aida. Sorry, teacher, repeat this. Uh, okay, have you ever slept under the stars? Then you complete the sentence. I have slept under the star. I haven't slept under I, the star. I haven't. Okay. Slept. Under? Under the star. Excellent. Now, so I haven't slept under the star. What about this one? Win a competition. I have won. I haven't won a competition. Kevin? Yes, uh, 
I I have I have a uh, win in a competition. Won is the best participle. I have won a competition. Uh in 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 basketball. Uh, tur tur tournament. Tournament. Okay, that is great. So I have won a competition. In Jose Daniel. I have or I haven't. Yes, I have won a competition. Can you tell us something about that? Sorry? When was it? When? Yeah? Uh, uh, I have uh, I have won a competition of uh, play video games. Oh, this is video games. That is great. FIFA? No, it's Hook Mobile. Hook Mobile. This is like okay. a Call of Duty. Um, I understand. Okay, Call of Duty is a great game. So yes. I, I'm pretty sure that it's a good one too. Now let's see number five and write a point. What is the past participle of write? Wrote. What is it? Wrote, really? Wrote in or written? I don't know what, how written. can I pronounce it. Written. Written. Uh, written. I written. Written. That's very written. Yes, yeah, so you say, I have or I haven't written a poem. I have written a poem. Okay, nice. Let's see number six. The fall is leaving class. Fall is leaving class. No, in this class, in another class, in a school. <laughs> have you? I have or I haven't? I haven't. I have. I have. Not really? Okay. Yes. And let's see number seven, cut a fish, cow. I have cow a fish, I haven't cut a fish. ¿Alguna vez han pescado un pez, capturado un pez? Yes, I haven't caught a fish. Oh, I haven't, okay, nice. Let's see the next one here, number eight, climb a mountain, mountain. No, I haven't. I haven't climbed a mountain. Climb a mountain. I haven't climbed a mountain. Excellent. What about number nine? Travel abroad. Go out of El Salvador. Kevin, travel abroad. No, teacher. I haven't. Travel up uh, abroad jet. Maria Magdalena. I haven't traveled abroad. Yeah, Abel. Hello, sorry, teacher. Don't worry. Have you ever traveled abroad? Um. Yes, I have traveled abroad. Okay, that is great. And let's see number 10 and copy the homework. Have you ever did on a homework and you copy the homework for another classmate in a school, in a high school? <laughs> Be sincere in this example. Yes, me, yes. <laughs> I have okay. done this. Oh. Okay, I have really? copy homework. Anybody? Ana Gabriela? I have or I haven't copied homework? Um, I have copied homework oh, okay. when I was in este, high school and in university. At the university, oh. too. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, teacher. Oh, okay. <laughs> ¿Te dio cuenta el teacher o no? Uh, I think no, but I don't, I'm not sure. Ah, okay, you're, sure. you're not sure about that. 
Okay, okay, guys, now let's see. Get ready for this practice, please. And we are going to practice in this. At this time, uh, you will pick up a number. And under the number, you're going to find a phrase. And you have to make a sentence using the present perfect. Let me see how can I do that. Okay, now here we go. Um, who wants to start? Any volunteer? You have to choose one of these numbers, and under the number, you are going to find a phrase. And using that phrase, you have to tell me a sentence in present perfect, right? Using ever, uh, already, yet, never, or or seen. Any volunteer? Who won? Mm. Aida, do you win? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. Say me a number, please. Tell me a number. Number 22. 22, okay. Let's see what is under 22. And in number 22, we have this. Lost your keys. Then you say the sentence. Yo he perdido mis llaves. Yo... I... Um, I... I lost. Ah, oh, just in the present perfect. I never... Have... I never lost my kids. I have never lost my kids. Okay, I, I have, have never, never lost... I have never lost my kids. Excellent sentence. Now it's perfect. Okay, let's go with Jose. Which number do you want, Jose? From one to thirty. Eh, Jose. <laughs> eh, number one. Number one, you say number one, and number one under number one is be in a car accident. Eh. Uh, I haven't uh, been. Car. Okay. I haven't been in a car accident. Excellent sentence. I haven't been in a car accident. Uh, okay. No, he estado en un accident de carros. Thank you. In a car accident. Let's go with Kevin. Kevin with number two, one. Uh, the number seven teacher. Seven, let's see. Is this your lucky number? Yes. So... Seen in public. Seen in public. Yes, I I have I have seek see I have seen in public. Um okay, your sentence is pretty good. Um, we need to fix a word there. Seen. Remember in present perfect we need to use the past participle. I have already. I have already seen in public. Um. Okay. Seen. What is the past participle of seen? Anybody can help, Kevin. Seen. Seen. Yes. I have already seen in public. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Maria oh, okay. Magdalena. Can you say the sentence again, Kevin, please? I have already done in public. Kevin, say the sentence again. Oh, sorry, teacher. Uh, I have already sung in public. Now it's perfect. Thank you so much. Then let's go with Maria Magdalena. Tell me which number do you want? Uh, maybe 10. 10. Paint a wall. I have, I haven't, oh my God, I don't remember the past participle of paint. It's a regular um, verb, we need, we need to add uh, it. Painting, painting, yes. I haven't painted a uh, wall yet. Okay, excellent, thank you so much. Then let's choose Ana Gabriela, are you there? Which number do you want, Ana? 
Number four. Number four, okay, let's see what is under four and under four we have a hole as snake. Mm, okay. Uh, hola shape. What is the meaning of that? Hola shape. Mm, okay. ¿Alguna vez ha tenido en sus manos una serpiente? I haven't I haven't killed a shape mm -hmm. in jet. Okay, I haven't held a snake yet. Would you like? No, I Not hate really? it. I hate it. Why? It's it's snake is so beautiful and no. interesting. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are very it's interesting. No, teacher. Yes, you can have one at, at home as a pet, right? I don't know, but, but I know I don't like it. Okay, okay, that is great. If you had an snake pet, what would be its name? Si tuvieran una serpiente de mascota, ¿cómo le pusieran de nombre? <laughs> El de la vecina que inventa cosas. Oh, come on, come on. Don't do that. <laughs> The neighbor. Oh, man. <laughs> La tóxica. <risa> la tóxica. Mm, cuidado, Kevin. Los videos quedan en YouTube. La va a escuchar por ahí. Eh, no me lo diga eso, <risa> Be careful. Then let's go with Claudia. Claudia, are you there? Which number do you want, Claudia? Yes, I am. Uh, number eight. Number eight. Okay, let's see what is on the room. What a feel in English. I have watched, uh, I have already watched a film in English. Excellent sentence. Thank you. Then let's go with who's missing. Who's missing today? Abel, which number do you want? Um, Abel? Hello. I'm sorry. It's in mute my one? microphone. Ah, okay. A number. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. I like it the number seven, but it is ah yeah no some have. somebody has already taken number seven. I'm sorry. Okay, twenty one. Twenty one. Let's see twenty one. Go ice skating. Uh, I have never gone ice skating. Excellent sentence. Ah. Thank you. Flor, Flor Ramos, it's your turn. Pick up a number, please. Uh, five. Number five. Let's see what it is. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. It says travel abroad. Uh, I have um, travel ab abroad yet. Okay, excellent. I haven't traveled abroad yet. Joanna, are you there, Joanna? Yes. Yes, which yes, number do you want? Mm, number 11. Number 11. Let's see what is under number 11. Okay, fall out of bed. Mm. I have already filled out of bed. Um, okay, that's nice. Is it fall or fallen? Oh, uh, fallen. Um, fa fallen. Fallen. Sorry. I repeat the sentence. I have already fallen out of bed. Okay. Okay. Did you get injured? Se lastimó. Um, I'm, I don't remember. I, I don't remember. Teacher. I was sleep. Yes. <laughs> I was sleep. <laughs> okay, that happened, right? Alguien más en la clase se ha caído de la cama de una vez, amanecido ahí en el piso. Many no times. Bad. Oh, many times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. 
Aida, let's go with the next round, please. With the number two one. Yes, three more. Hey. The number two. Number two. Let's see what is this one. Oh, draw a cartoon. Yes, I have a drum. Yeah. Uh, cartoon. Okay, great. Okay, the last two, the next two. I need volunteers. Two volunteers to finish this activity. Who wants to participate? Me, teacher. Well, thank you, Kevin. Tell me, which number do you want? Uh, four, four, 14. 14, number 14. Let's see what is under number 14. And under number 14, we have sleep in class. I can. Uh, yes, I have. I have sleep in in class. Almost perfect. What is the past participle of sleep? Me, mm. teacher. I don't remember teacher. Slept. Slept. I have slept in class. Ah, okay, okay. I have slept in class. Okay, excellent. I have already slept in class. Thank you. The last one. Who wants to be the last one in this part? Okay, me. Okay, Abel, tell me which number do you want? Okay, 20. 20, you think number 20? Uh, here is number 20. Fly in an airplane. Okay, I have never played in an airplane. Almost perfect sentence. What is the past participle of fly? Also read. Flown. Yes, fly. I have, flown. I have never flown in an airplane. I'm sorry. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Just the last volunteer. El último voluntario. Just the last volunteer to finish. Who won? Who wants to be the last one? Me, teacher. Thank you, Aida. Tell me which number do you want? Number 17. 17. Let's see what it is. A fail an exam. Yes. I have a... Oh, se me olvidó el... Fail, fail an exam. Okay, I have failed an exam. Failed an exam. I failed, failed an exam. Okay, great. Do you remember the first time you failed an exam? How did you feel the first time that you failed an exam? Um, ¿Se acuerdan la primera vez que fallaron un examen? How did you feel? Wow. That. That. Yes. Sorry. You were sad. You were, you were sad. Nice. Anybody? The rest of the class have never failed an exam. Congratulations, guy. You are so intelligent. No, I mean, I failed many times. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. In the rest of the class? You never fail an exam? That's great. So cool. Let's go with the next. Let me see. Okay, let's continue. Then let's go with the let's read the next information here. Just give me a second. I don't know what I did with this. Oh, here we go. Okay, then now let's talk a little bit about foreign things. Let's see, dear, how long did you live in Thailand? Look at this question, how long did you live in Thailand? This person is asking for a period of time, right? Cuánto tiempo viviste en Tailandia? So it says, I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. Then four is for a period of time. In this case, un periodo de dos años, I lived there for two years. How long have you lived in Miami? 
says, I will live here for six months. I love here. And I have lived here since last year. I really happy here. So the first, in the first example, it is simple past. How long did you live in Thailand? Ya no vive allá, ¿verdad? ¿Por cuánto tiempo viviste en Tailandia? Say, I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. But that period has already finished. And in the second question, how long have you lived in Miami? It means that this person is still living there. Is still living in Miami. I have lived here for six months. I love it here. He vivido aquí por un periodo de seis meses. For six months. Me gusta mucho acá. I have lived here since last year. Now, that is a specific uh, period of, uh, sorry, it is a specific point in the past. El año pasado, I have lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Estoy muy contento acá. Then, let's talk about for things, for and things, for plus a period of time. Let's see, for example, for a six year, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. And present perfect with four. Uh, any volunteer to read this, for example, who wants? Who wants to practice? And she has living her for 20 years. Next one, please. We have, no sé cómo se pronuncia. We have Tao. We have Tao at this school for a long time. Thank you so much, Aida. And you're going to read the next two examples. Just one. Me, me teacher. Thank I you, can... Claudia. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Excellent. Thank you. So, period of time. Don't forget this example. For this year, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. Okay. Then let's go with things. Things plus a specific moment. Things this morning, things last week, things yesterday, things I was a child, things Wednesday, things two o'clock. And example, I have worked here since 1990. I need a volunteer to read the example, present perfect with things. Who wants to practice? Me teacher. Thank you, Kevin. Let's do um, it. She has lived here since 1818. We have taught at, at this school since 1865. Thank you so much. The first number is 1980. He has lived here since 1980. In the, the next one, 1965. Thank you. So, another volunteer to practice in sentence three and four, please. I can't teacher. Thank you. Let's do it, please. Um, pero orienteme. ¿Cuál es la que sigue? Alice. Okay. Gracias. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Almost perfect. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Very good. So, a specific moment, right, in the past a specific point there. The, that is things. Don't forget this example. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. Okay. So that is the end of the presentation. Do you have any question about how to use for and in? Questions? 
Okay, now, how long have you lived in your neighborhood? Maria Magdalena, how long have you lived in your neighborhood? Um, can you repeat, please? I don't understand. I'm sorry. How long have you lived in your neighborhood? Por cuánto tiempo ha vivido en su vecindario? Mm, maybe 20 years. Oh, say the sentence using present perfect. I have lived in my neighborhood. For 20 years. Yes, I have lived in my neighborhood for 20 years. Okay, excellent. Ahora, si fuera con sin, I have lived in my neighborhood since. Hagamos cuentas. ¿Hace cuánto fueron 20 años? Um, 20 no, 2000. 2000. 2000. <laughs> 2001. 2001. Yeah. 3. 2003. 2003. I guess 2003, right? When you say yeah. I, I have lived in Three. my neighborhood since 2003. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Now, let's see. Claudia, how long have you been studying English? Uh, can you repeat, please? How long have been you studying English? I have been studying English for three years. Okay, thank you for three years. I have studied <clears throat> English for three years. Y con sin, si fuera con I have studied English since... Uh, 1991. Okay, 1991. 1991, 1921. 1921, sorry. Okay, don't worry. That's great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good sentences. Now, let's see. Um, Jose Daniel, how long have you studied? How long have you studied in general? ¿Desde hace cuánto está estudiando? Ok. Eh, I have studied for almost nineteen years. Ok. I have studied for 19 years. 19 años estudiando. Mm, that is excellent. Desde kinder. <laughs> yes, right. We study a lot of time, right? Yes. And anyway, right? It's something that we have to leave. Um, okay, now let's see. How long have you had your card? How long have you had your card? This, ¿Por cuánto tiempo ha tenido su carro? Then you say, I have had the same card for or since. Tell me. How long have you had your car? ¿De vez en cuando tiene su carro, el mismo carro? For three years, for five years, for three months. This is me. I have seen six years. Ah, um, okay. In this case, because it is a period of time, then you say four. I have had the same car for six years. <clears throat> say the sentence again. I have had the same car for six years. I have have a car for six years. Thank you. Now, Abel, it's your turn. How long have you had the same car? I have the same car for two years. Three years. Okay, that is excellent. Now, how long have you had the same husband? Ah, that was good. Thank you. For sure. <laughs> yes, okay. Sorry, no? I have a question. 
Tiene eh, varios que cuestan. How do you say carrera universitaria? Is degree or career? Mm, we say major. A uh, mayor. We use major. When we are studying at college, we say major. My major is in law. My major is in language. And we are working in that, we say career. My career is in law. My career And is degree? in language. Degree is grado. Grado, algo que se ganó. I have a degree in law. Tengo un grado en ley. Y si yo quiero decir... Eh, mi mayor logro es haber terminado mi carrera sería my greatest eh, achievement is have finished my, my degree my career my major my major yes okay thank you okay major when you are studying career when you are working on that okay thank you Okay, thanks for your question. That was very interesting. Okay, just to finish the class, let's go to the platform and solve the exercise there. Mm, let me see what was it. Here is it. Okay, let's solve the next. Oh, what is this? Give me a second. I made a mistake. I was sharing it with you the presentation again. Okay, now here we go. Now let's check. Let's complete this exercise on the platform using for and also see. Uh, instruction, read the following sentences to choose between for and seen depending on context. So, Pan was in Central America a month last year. So, do I need for or seen to complete number one? Is for t-shirt. Four. Okay, four, right? Four a month. So that is a period of time. Un mes. Uh, thank you. Let's see. I have been a college student. <clears throat> Do I need four, four or seen? Four. Okay, for almost four years. Un periodo de casi cuatro años. So it's a period. So we use four. Number three, here or she has been at work. Hiroshi has been at work. Since. Oh, since, right? That is a specific period of time. Specific time in past, we use since. Let me see. I'm going to erase that. Or. Okay, my mancho la pantalla. Let me read. Okay, here we go. Let's see number four. I haven't gone to a party a long time. Or. For, okay, for a long time, excellent. Joyce lived in Venezuela. For, for, oh, for two years as a kid. Let's see the next one is number six. My parents have been on vacation. Since, since, since Monday. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Number seven, Natalie was, Natalie was engaged to Danny. Or thing. Or. For or thing. Or. For six months, for a period of six months. Pat and Valeria have been best friends. For Think. high school or since high school. Thing. Mm -hmm. In high school, we had been in class for 5.30 p.m. or since. Sim. Sim. Okay, say since. Let's see the last one. The babies have cried 30 minutes. For, for. For 30 minutes. Okay, let's click on 10. Let me see. Congratulations, your score is 34 points of 34 points. That was excellent, perfect score. Thank you so much for your help in this. Now, I need a volunteer. Who wants to read the sentences one, two, and three, please? Anyone? We are almost to finish. I need a volunteer to read sentence one, two, and three. Who wants to participate? Me, teacher. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Let's do it. 
Okay, first. Pang was in Central America for a month last year. Two. I have been a college student for almost four years. And three, Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. Thank you. Very good job. It was excellent. Now let's see four, five, and six. Who won? Me, teacher. Thank you, Kevin. Do it, please. Okay. Uh... I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Josh lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Thank you. Almost perfect. On vacation. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Thank you. In six, now we have seven, eight, nine, and ten. The last volunteer for tonight, who wants to be? Who wants to read the last of first sentences? Okay, this is me. Thank you, Abel. Here we go. Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. Pat and Valeria has been best friends since high school. We have been in class since 5 30 p.m. The babies had cried for 30 minutes. Thank you. 30, 30 minutes. We have been in class for 5 30 p.m. Oh, sorry, since, since 5 30 p.m. So, do you have any question about tonight's class? Question? Anybody has a question? Okay, if no, just take a look of the final exam. So it is divided in one, two, three, four, five, five exercises. The first one is a listening. You are going to listen and you are going to answer this. Um, you are going to choose right what is the right thing. And in the second exercise, there is a com you have to complete some conversation, right? And you have to use the present perfect of the verb given in brackets. So we have B, C, have, C and have. And we have a second part in this. Read the sentence and choose the correct answer. Then you have the option here for anything to complete the second part of this. And then in the third part, you are going to have this exercise. Exercise C, choose the correct answer. Read the following sentence and choose the correct word. So you are going to choose the right word to complete every sentence in this part. You have six items in this one. And let's see, number number four or letter D, rewrite and scramble sentences. Put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. And here you have write the words and you have to uh, organize them to make a uh, Complete sentence. And the last one is reading. This is a reading. You are going to read Sarah's email and then you are going to check for things she can do in her neighborhood. Then here we have the reading. If it is too small, you click on this and you are going to have this. You are going to have a bigger picture in this part. Okay, then this is the final exam. Do you have any question? Who has already finished this? Who has already taken the final hey. exam? Teacher, in my case, the, the, the final exam number four. Mm, and... I have a... Um, the, okay, yes. in this one, do you have a problem in one of these sentences? Yes, yes. Which one? Um, se lo voy a tener que explicar en español para que no pueda en inglés. O sea, yo le pongo el orden y me está dando error. No sé si ya les pasó. Um, Porque me, me salen oh. como con error todas y ya les puse de mil formas y me sigue dando error. All of them. 
o sea, como que todas estuvieran malas y están como que en orden. Ok. O sea, le capturé la pantalla para, y le escribí, le, pues voy, ya voy, no he tenido respuesta, mañana tal vez me responden para que me corrijan. Ah, ok, now let's see in exercise number one. Who has already taken the final exams? Who wants to help me in the answer? So it says, is Georgia 30, Christy, her really in? Christy is really, Gregory is um, in her 30s. Ok, ¿quién ya hizo esta parte del examen? ¿Cómo escribieron esta oración? Me teacher. Eh, okay, Anna. Can you tell me how did you solve this? Which of these options did you choose? Christy is really gorgeous and in her thoughts. Um, Christy. I'm going to I going to repeat again. Christy. Okay, Christy is really gorgeous and, and in her bodies. Christy is really gorgeous and, her, and in. Yes. And her in her bodies. Yes. Okay, there you have. The first one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um. Okay. Yes. Now we are going to discuss the next one. If you have a problem tomorrow, we are going to have a review of this final exam, right? To know okay. if you have some trouble solving this exercise. So for that's all for tonight. That's it. Do you have any question? <laughs> How do you spell mayor? Mayor. M A J O R. Mayor. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you so much for your participation and your attention during this class. Uh, have a good night and see you tomorrow. Bye bye to everyone. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Uh, good night. Good night.